Hello there, Humphrey Pyre here and I'm a developer Arke here at Voltra. In today's Tech Talk, we'll discuss using Voltra Container Registry with Docker and Kubernetes with an end goal of unlocking efficient container management for your containerized applications. To begin with, Voltra Container Registry is a managed service that enables highly available secure storage of container images and related artifacts. It supports controlled unified access and versioning of your container images, making it possible for you to use multiple container image versions on multiple environments. It integrates with CI-CD pipelines such as Jenkins to allow you to build, test, and develop multiple applications using your Voltra Container Registry images. The Voltra Container Registry is compatible with container orchestration platforms such as Docker, Podman, and Kubernetes as discussed further in this tech talk. Docker as a standalone application provides an efficient, lightweight, and portable container runtime you can deploy on your server. It enables container reusability and versioning, making it possible to use multiple container image versions on your server. It integrates with the Voltra Container Registry and enables continuous deployment and storage of your container images. On the other hand, Kubernetes automates the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications to ensure reliability and consistency with multiple environments that may reside within your cluster. You can integrate Kubernetes with the Voltra Container Registry with an end goal of enabling secure deployments and reliable execution of application containers within your cluster environment. And so, to experiment how you can use the Voltra Container Registry with Docker and Kubernetes, let me take you right through a demo where I have deployed a Voltra Container Registry, a Voltra Kubernetes engine cluster, and a one-click Docker server using the Volta Marketplace application to use as a management instance. Without any further ado, let's get right into the process. So, right within the Volta customer portal, I have already deployed the Volta Container Registry. As noted earlier, it has the unique name TestRec, which is unique to this Volta location of New Jersey. And so, to begin with our processes, let's uh, open this registry to get its management paddle. And as you can see right within my overview tab, I have the registry URL, the username, and the API key. And now, as you can see within the overview tab, we have some example commands we can run to test uh, that we have access to our Volta container registry. The best and fastest way to actually access our registry is by using the docker login command listed within the example commands. However, if you'd like to explicitly apply in-depth configurations, feel free to navigate to the docker slash Kubernetes tab and generate a new docker config JSON that you can apply in your user environment and be able to pull and push images if this push access option is enabled. But for purposes of this tech talk, head back to the overview tab and let's copy this entire docker login command for use within our session. So right within our management workstation, let's first verify that indeed our local user has access to Docker by querying the running Docker processes. And as you can see, we do not have any running containers and we can run the Docker command without any errors. So let's pass the Docker login command, give it a second to load. And as you can see in this output, the login is successful and we can now start using uh, the Rotor container registry with this Docker server. So just to run some example operations, let's pull a sample image from Docker Hub, which is a public registry. Let's pull the Nginx image, which is one of the most popular images. Give it a second to complete. And now, as you can see, the Nginx image is available on this server. Let's run the Docker images command to verify that it's indeed available. Now, as you can see this output, the Nginx image is available on this server. To transfer this image to the Voltra Container Registry, let's uh, create a new tag using the docker tag command. And the target image is Nginx. But before we actually proceed from this step, let's head back to the Voltra Container Registry and copy our registry URL without the connection string, which is HTTPS. If you copy this and head back to the SSH session and paste it right here, tag this image as Nginx with the letters tag which specifies the particular version we're tagging. Now press enter. You can see that we've created a new tag. Check the Docker images again. And we have two images now. 
our latest star voto container registry image tag available below so let's actually get to push this image to the voto container registry paste the url again and paste our image tag give this process a second to complete and uh, when it does we have pushed the docker image uh, right to the voto container registry now let's test that we can actually run this image docker run detached specify the default port 80 as the target port and container port and then paste our voto container registry image so that we can run it on the server and now as you can see the docker run command is successful let's view the docker processes and verify that there is a new container and as you can see in the output our docker image is up and running let's just test that indeed the application is healthy and running so if you use curl just to test the output on port 80 you can see that we have the default nginx web page content so just like that you have connected to docker with the voter container registry for advanced control and assignment to multiple users please create a docker json config that you can distribute to multiple users with push or pull access depending on your preferences let's now implement this image in a kubernetes cluster on this server i have already set up my vke cluster and just to verify that we have access to this cluster let's query the cluster nodes using kubectl and as you can see in my output i have a three node cluster with all nodes with a ready status so to implement the Voto Criteria Registry with our Kubernetes cluster, let's create a new secret file resource using Nano, for example. And now let's navigate to the Voltra customer portal and this time around navigate to the Docker slash Kubernetes tab. Let's leave expires and seconds to zero, meaning this configuration will reside in the cluster permanently without any time limits. And so if you like to enable push access, you can enable it in order to push uh, changes from your cluster environment to the registry. And now click generate Kubernetes demo to get a new secret resource we can actually deploy to our cluster. Copy all contents from here and let's go ahead and paste them into our secret file. Save this file and just before we close it, you can see that we're going to create a new secret resource with the name Voltra Serial Credentials and it uses the Docker config json format with an encrypted string that you can share to multiple users without necessarily exposing your username and actual api keys so let's close this file and let's apply the secret to our cluster so let's query the cluster secrets and verify that the new Voltra content registry credential is available and in this output you can see that it's ready so to actually get to use this secret resource and pull images from the Voltra container registry. Let's create a sample deployment using uh, an image such as the Nginx image that we've just pushed to the Voltra container registry. So to begin with, let's create a new file and give it a name such as deployment doyamo. To populate some contents here, let's navigate to the official Kubernetes documentation and copy the sample code right here. Let's paste it into our server environment, save this file, before we can actually apply any changes to it. And let's apply some minimal changes in order to use our custom image instead of the public Nginx image that is pulled from Docker Hub. So let's replace this with our container registry URL, Nginx, and just below the container pod declaration, let's apply a new section that references the Voltra container registry credentials in order for kubernetes to search for the correct location and authenticate with the voter container registry in order to pull this image from the registry so save and close this file and let's apply it to the cluster and now the resource is created let's query the cluster deployments and as you can see in this output the deployment is ready and up to date so let's verify that the cluster pods are running and in this output, you can see that the operation is successful. The Kubernetes cluster has used the Voltra container registry image and deployed it to the necessary containers. So just to verify that indeed the container image is used correctly and running within this cluster, you can create a new service to expose using a load balancer. Or let's just get along and view the pod logs here to verify what background processes happen. So as you can see this output, the application container is running correctly with the correct output that we need. So this means you have pushed your container image using Docker and actually pulled it to your Kubernetes environment. And that's where the advantage comes in 
in that the Volta Container Registry will be able to work with whichever container orchestration platform that you are running within your environment. And so I hope you found this Tech Talk useful. If you would like to use the Volta Container Registry in a much further status, please feel free to generate multiple config JSON files you can apply and assign to multiple users without necessarily exposing your actual Volta Container Registry credentials. And if you found this Tech Talk useful, I would like to thank you for watching and see you in the next Volta Tech Talk.